we're having a CTV on the back of the 3 2 defeat at home against the Bath City. Um, how do you think the game went? Um, yeah, obviously, sending off's a massive moment, isn't it? I think it, a player sent off and then you score straight away from the, the free kick, doesn't give you no time. I think that's a, a massive moment in the game, really. Um, I thought it was a bit like a, a basketball match, it could have gone either way. Um, we kind of like it when it's like that, always back our players. I thought we got the ball into the final third a lot and was really wasteful. Didn't keep any ball in their sort of half of the pitch today and then that allowed them to break on us. Um, so, yeah, um, but you go down to 10 men and they score from the result of free kick. It's, it's always going to be a tough sort of afternoon after that. Um, and then, you know, we get back to 3-2 at the end and we show a bit of character and, and desire to, to try and get safe on the game. But um, I think it sort of lacked for, for there was a real response, obviously a very heavy defeat in the week. And then the first 10 minutes I thought was excellent, um, deservedly led, probably a dubious penalty to be honest, I think it's gone down a bit easy. But um, yeah, um, it probably what we deserved after how we responded. Um, then the game sort of ebbed and flowed, um, could have gone either way. Um, and then, yeah, like I say, massive moment is the sending off, but um, yeah, it just seems to be how it's going a little bit at the moment. You have tough times like this, and this is where everyone's got to stand up and be counted and, and stick together and, and yeah, work hard to, to, yeah. to improve. It seems a bit frustrating in the first half because we, we, we seem to sort of um, get into the penalty area into sort of dangerous positions and, and then it, it would come to nothing, it would fall, fall apart and it, that they would clear it. Um, was, is that something with the confidence level with the, with the players after sort of three games yeah, on the road? Yeah, maybe, maybe, um, you know, when it clicks and you have games like Dulwich and everything you seem to hit seems to go in and maybe it's a little bit like that at the moment, you know, we're, we're getting into good areas, I thought, especially first half, yeah. like I say, I thought Kane got into the box and, you know, again, he's probably not the right person you want it falling to at, at the far post, but he's got in there and, yeah, it just didn't seem to fall for us, did it, in, in the first half, for whatever reason, I think there's times that Oli looked like he's going to get his shot off and, um, yeah, it didn't quite take our opportunities, um, but, yeah, after that, um, like I say, it's uh, quick, quick fire goals, and before you know it, you're down to ten men again, and um, you're, you're um, two one down. Like with with the thing, it's a massive, massive moment in the game, and um, you know, like I say, we've got to, got to learn quickly. Yeah, obviously, obviously, Joe Wright with, with with red card. Bath started the second half really well, got back on level terms, and then then the red card was a major turning point. Obviously, Joe Wright's been a fantastic player this season. Um, would you have said have more faith in your goalkeeper? You got Harrison there. You know, the player still got to score past Harrison rather than sort of giving a bit bit, bit of a shove and getting yeah, himself sent off. Yeah, it's, it's easy. Just a learning it? curve. Yeah, easy, easy when you're watching a bat, but you know, yeah. being a defender myself, you just do stuff um, instantly like I don't think he's thought had a chance to think too much about it he just it's an instinct and um, you know he's done what he's um, naturally sort of done I don't think he's thought about oh, I was going to let him go through and score you won't never as a defender going to do that you're going to do your best to try and put him off and um, yeah it can be no complaints uh, the complaint I think comes with how we've let the goal go in the goalkeeper side um, you know, you've got a wall there, you've got to trust your wall and it can't go in that side and um, there seems to be just like mistakes like that. I mean, if that doesn't go in and then you still one all and you know, you're hard to break down and maybe you've endeavoured on and play slightly up a bit to him and try and uh, get the ball in their half a little bit more. Um, but yeah, like I say, to send an off and go behind in the game is always going to be tough. Um, but, you know, even with 10 men, I thought, you know, David had a header, didn't he? That, yeah. You know, another day, you could get an equaliser and um, it can be different. But I don't, yeah, we can't, can't fault the players. It's just um, those big, big moments in the game. Um, we don't seem to be getting the, the second goal um, when they present themselves. And, um, yeah, we've got to, got to be better. I think the, the best defensive performance so far has come when we went down to 10 men against um, Chippenham. There was a real desire, like ten players leaving their all out on the pitch, and you know we got, can't just show that when we're down to ten men. We've got to show that um, yeah. that unity and togetherness uh, throughout games.
Yeah, and obviously you you made, you made the changes later in the second half. Do you th you think you might have made made them a bit sooner, or was that was that too soon, or? Um, because we, we looked a bit brighter after we made those yeah, changes. That's what you want from yourselves, isn't it? To, to yeah. come on and have an impact, and yeah, yeah. Um, with hindsight, you can say you could have made them earlier. Um, but yeah, you wanted them to have the impact, and you know we scored one, and, and David's had a good header. So you know. Maybe the, the freshness come at the right time, wrong time, you know. Don't know, it's just down for just done what I thought best and yeah. it's down to you guys to scrutinise that as much as you want really. But um, you know, I'll, I'll learn and try and see if I could have brought on players sooner. Um, and that's all you ask from the players as well. Okay. Where where are you on the injury table? We've got a week off now, um, before next Saturday. Um anyone back in contention? Obviously J B wasn't here tonight. Obviously yeah. it's still that from the impact injury last week. Yeah, yeah, impact injury, so still feeling it a bit on Tuesday. Um and then Thursday felt it a little bit again. Um turned up okay today but never one to have fitness tests on the day of a game. Uh, I think mm. either fit or not. So yeah, I think J B should be back, Ibby should be back, Liam should be back now from Milner, so you know, this should be a good squad to to choose choose from. Um but yeah, that's not this disgruntling the, the players we've got out there today, you know, they've all uh, had opportunities, yeah. those players and they've all um delivered it at, at different times. But um yeah, now more so than ever, we need sort of everyone together, everyone working hard, and um, you know, still eight games to play for, uh, lots to play for, and you know, we've got to start turning um, some of these performances round, and yeah. uh, like I say, more, more, more stuff from like the the first ten minutes. I thought it was good, it was yeah. uh, real vibrant, but you know, we just can't do it in passages. That needs to be the norm for us now, moving forward. Yeah. Okay, Adam. Thanks awesome. so much, mate. Right, cheers. cheers.